Disclaimer before the video starts. Um, obviously, I know the controversy surrounding this game, and I just want to go into this um, having a good time and really just not having to worry about any of that. Um, whether what is true and what is what is confirmed and what is not, what has been debunked and what hasn't, doesn't really matter to me. I just want to go into this with an unbiased opinion on the entire game um, and just enjoy it and have fun with it. So for me, it's, um, you know, I want to, in, in this case, what I'm trying to say is I want to separate the art from the artist. Um, and we're just going to go into this and we're going to have fun. Um, and I want to make sure that that's, that's at the forefront. This is just for enjoyment. I don't care about any sort of stupid controversy or anything like that. I, I don't care to get caught up in that. I don't care to talk about that. This is purely because I wanted, I, I want to give it a try, um, after people have been bugging me about it. And because I just feel like, um, you know, I can, you know, say, say the right things. Um, and yeah, anyway, thanks for uh, understanding. So this is Sonic Omens. Um, obviously um if you saw the disclaimer before the video like i said i know a lot of controversy surrounding this game but i figured i would go ahead and just um give the game a shot you know go in with my unbiased opinion um despite that and let's just see if we can actually uh enjoy the game right so Let's let's get into this, I guess. Um, a little nervous, not gonna lie. Um, but you know, we'll see how it goes. Tails is a uh, rhythm badge. Makes a lot of sense because we're uh, Amy Rose. Oh, she texted it Sonic. Wow, they have a phone in this. Do not forget to optimize. Yeah. Sonic and Chip, of course, because Sonic Unleashed happened in this. Chris. Sonic X. Oh, wow. They're playing the Sonic X theme. Okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. They're playing the Sonic X theme. You already know. They're trying to bridge that gap, you know. And there's our boy. Um, you know, and I've heard... Sonic! There you are, Sonic. Have you heard the news? Here. Listen to this. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> I thought that he would last at least a month without his villainous plans. Come on, let's go, Tails. I think it's time we made a visit to our mustache friend. My sensors picked up strange activity at an abandoned Eggman outpost not far from here. Mm. I thought it was another gun investigation, so I didn't pay much attention. But then I suddenly lost communication with all of the sensors on the island. I'm sure Eggman has something to do with it. Mm. We should go investigate the old Eggman Tower. Come on, Sonic. All right. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with you. I'll catch up with you. Ah! All right. Move set check. Um What is this? Okay, stomp, slide. Okay, so the boost is R2. Wow. Um What is this? Mobify. Wow. Wow, look at this. I like I like this house. Familiarize yourself with the controls in the pause menu. Uh Tails. Have you finished preparing the hyper tornado? I sure could use a nap. She's ready yet. In the meantime, I suggest warming up. The frequent naps and chili dog contests have made you gain a few pounds. Oh bruh. I could use the cardio. I'll see what's going on with the sensors up near the cliff and wait for you at the wellspring. Okay. Tails, try not to be late. 
Okay. Wow. All right. Let's go. All right. So you can boost in this game. You know, I I I kind of just realized I screwed it up. Hold up. Skadoosh! Oh my gosh. Skadoosh! Let's get it. Okay. All right. So the boost in the game feels pretty good, and I know I've made my my feelings known about how I feel about boost formula and fan games specifically. I feel like official games actually do it better than this game. Um, or not this game, but it, specifically I feel like the official games do it better than fan games, uh, specifically. Um, what in the f absolute freaking frick? Uh, Is that a red star ring? It is. Wow, there's red star rings in this. Okay, so that's how you do the... Oh, there you are. I like this music so far. Music's pretty cool. Um, I don't like that Sonic Forces beater, though. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look bad, but it was just such a weird choice. Um, sometimes you can break boxes. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Break some boxes. Give me those. Yeah, break the boxes. Yeah. So, so far, so good, I guess. It's not, like, horrible. Um. Oh, there is a stomp. I figured there was a stomp in here. I didn't realize it was going to be a whole different button. This is a switch button activated to get rid of the obstacle blocking the path and move forward. Okay. Well, I'm glad I'm actually, like, low-key listening to the, uh the, uh, tutorial. Because if I wasn't, we would be cooked. Oh my gosh. All right, quick step. I get it. Let's go. Jeez, this game does not like to have me uh, hold on to the boost. It's also, um, there we go. I was going to say, holding my hand a lot right now. What the frick? Okay, I might actually. Ah, there we go. Okay. I couldn't see the cracks, but, um, yep, okay. Look at that. Wow, wall running. Cool, cool, cool. And I know, and like I said, I know the game has some controversy surrounding it, so a lot of people are very inclined to, to go ahead and hate because of that. But, you know, like I said, I'm going to go in, give my unbiased opinion, and just play the game and try to have fun, unbiasedly, you know. But that's going to be a B, you know. I'm not, I'm not here for the ranks. I'm just here... For the experience to play through, this is going to be the very first modern Sonic um, playthrough, uh, fan game playthrough that I do. And, you know, it's complete, so I might as well. Right? Wow. I mean, it is, you whether, like I said, despite everything, whether you want to admit it or not, this is very well done. These cutscenes, the graphics, you know, the gameplay so far freaking Sonic Forces characters. Wow. Angel Island right there, I think. It looks very hand-drawn. But, you know. Tails should have gotten tired by now. Inaccurate. <laughs> but, you know. Yes, sir. Look at that. Sonic's like, okay, here I go. He's like, I'm ready. Oh, wow. He's actually dropping down where the Master Emerald is. Oh, my boy Knuckles. He's chilling. Oh, I thought he was going to wave. The storm is coming. All right, cool. Alright, I mean, it's a cool cutscene so far, you know, like, it's not... Nothing too shabby. Alright. I do <laughs> notice that Sonic has a lot of bloom on his eyes. They glow a lot. So... Okay, these are GUN robots, not Eggman robots. The Breakthrough. Okay, episode one, The Breakthrough. 
I guess. Um, uh, inner beam. Tails, bruh. How did this man get knocked out? That is crazy. What is that strange energy beam coming from your arm? <laughs> oh, this? Uh, it's from Chip's wristband. We got pretty lucky with the tree breaking or fall. You can come down now, Sonic. Spider Man. I'm, I'm trying. Spider Man. Trust me, I would rather have my feet planted. <laughs> Trust me. The voice acting's a little, uh... Okay. Well, that was pretty rough. Huh? Some of the badniks are still left in that wellspring. How did we miss them earlier? Tails, check and see how the chow are doing in the gardens. They might be in trouble. They might be in trouble. I, I love... I love how they just tried to imitate Jason Griffiths, so they're like, they might be in trouble. All right. Chow Paradise, let's get it. Sonic can use his energy to pull himself to the room to activate the ability to use. Let's get it! All right, it's time. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm a little hype right now, so let's, let's get it moving. Cool. All right. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Oh, that was cringe. Let's go. Yes, indeed, Sonic speed. Oh my gosh! Underwater. Sweet. Finish things up there and run. Sonic has a unique ability to clear large groups of enemies. Hold the button from the image. For what? Ready? Go. Oh, they're talking about his uh, light speed dash. Okay, or his light speed attack. Woo! Okay, I like the inner beam mechanic. It's really cool. Uh, does he have a, a way to, um, okay, the music so far, kind of hype, I ain't gonna lie. Alright, it takes a little bit to get used to, for sure, so I'm not gonna be the best, obviously. I'm not gonna be the best like I usually am. Okay, one, two. Like, I'm usually the best at these games, you know what I'm saying, but, modern, like I said, boost modern Sonic, uh, like, Fan games are kind of weird to me. I don't know. The way that they make the boost, especially in, I guess, fan game engines that they use, is always a little, uh, is it always been a little finicky for me. Um, so, I, I've always kind of just, I, uh, always, hold on, sorry, all the, all the talking. That's crazy. Um, I was going to say, uh, like I said, fan games and boost games always usually kind of feel weirder. This definitely feels better than a lot of the boost games I've played um, fan game wise. But I don't know. When it comes to boost titles, I really feel like um, official games do it the best for me. Now, I will say this controls really good. Um, so there is that. And being able to run on the water is a super nice touch as well. Um, and this music so far are pretty good, you know. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm staying unbiased about it. Is that the bass from freaking... That, look like, uh, that looks like a Eggman's bass from Sonic Boom. But there we go. B rank, you know, I'm not worried about it. Um, we'll uh, do another stage, because obviously, you know... What? What? Seems like Egghead didn't even bother with repairs. What's the point? If you're just gonna wreck everything again. Wrecking is more of a Knuckles thing. Except now he's guarding the Master Emerald. Honestly, it's a miracle that he hasn't given hmm. it away by now. Yeah, I guess. Seen better days. Anyways, give me a few minutes. I might be able to find something useful here. I'll be over here finding something useful. Uh, 
Under my eyelids. Man, that man really got to take a nap. Okay, uh, so Tails, you obviously pressed something wrong. So here's the first boss. Keep an eye on the ring counter. If it drops to zero and the boss hits you, you will lose. Blah blah blah. blah. Yeah, we know. Um, yeah. Okay, so we are now playing against the Egg Dragoon. Um, what the frick was that? Okay. Okay. Ah, I see. Okay. Okay. No 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 Hey Okay Alright yeah so this is the Egg Dragoon I'm guessing from right after Sonic Unleashed right Oh hello Uh basically right after Sonic Unleashed where you know we've already beaten it But Oh then this base kinda looks like his base Yeah then this is his base from Sonic Unleashed then that would actually make a lot of sense because the one from Sonic Unleashed kind of looked like this. Because I know this is trying to like bridge the gap between Sonic X and Sonic Unleashed and all that, um, you know, uh, time frame and kind of trying to tell us where that time frame is coming from. Basically, I think is uh, what this game tries to do, um, which is an interesting concept. And like I said, uh, with with the uh, out the contra. Oh my freak. Um, without the controversy, I really think people would probably be a little bit more receptive, uh, to the game. Um, uh, some, some people would probably be a little more, uh, receptive to this game and its concept if it was, uh, not for the controversy. At least that's my opinion, you know, and obviously I'm gonna just stay unbiased, you know, Whatever is true and whatever isn't doesn't really matter to me. I'm just here to play games and have fun on the channel, you know. And this is the next fan game I, I felt like I wanted to play. I wanted to change it up because I love... Y'all know I love classic Sonic fan games, but I really just wanted to... I felt like I needed to change it up with a modern title. And this was the only other one I could think of that was, you know, obviously, you know, kind of recent, complete. And, um... Booyah, there we go. Grab that. Oh my gosh. The thing is... Okay. Boom. Got it. And there we go. Beat it. That was um, a lot easier than I felt like it should have been, but you know. Alright. It looks like Dr. Eggman abandoned this place a long time ago. Even the computer itself is falling apart, so why guard it? Hmm. That badnik didn't attack us without a reason. Think you can track Eggman's location with this hunk of junk? Hmm. <laughs> Let me see. And sorry if I'm not speaking over cutscenes like ah, I usually do. It's like is. this is a new experience. He's heading towards um, the Grand Canyon. Grand Dude, Canyon. Let's go. That's where we'll be too. You know, with classic Sonic games, you can afford to talk over these, but this is like, you know, it's crafting its own story. It's a, an original experience that, you know, we're going to be experiencing for ourselves. Sonic, did you manage to contact Knuckles? Uh, I don't know. All I've got is static. Hmm. It must be because of that power outburst from the Master Emerald. If that's the case, he better not leave the island. And we better hurry. Yeah, I doubt he's going to leave the island. I'm surprised, though, because this, like I said, this game was to... Oh, well, no, this would be accurate to Sonic X, because this is what the ship looks like at the end of Sonic X Season 3, right, with the Metarex. Because I do know Metarex are involved in this. I do know. And that's what the tornado looked like. Yeah. Hyper tornado. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. I was about to say, because I was like, what about the X tornado? You know, from Sonic X. But I'm just an idiot. Um, Temple of Sands. Okay, episode two. I guess then um, after this cutscene plays, we'll do the next episode. 
Um, because, uh, yeah. Um, and that'll be that. Because uh, we're getting through this pretty quick. Not gonna lie. Since we weren't invited, Don's raiders can detect us. It's okay. Go on foot. It's easier anyway. Keep a lookout for a workaround, though. Eggman definitely got past the radars. Eggman definitely got past the radars. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just the way that that cutscene was handled was so funny. It was some Sonic Adventure type stuff. Okay. Anyway, um, if you guys like this video, please make sure to leave a like on the video. It does help out a lot. Let me know you guys like what I'm putting out as well. Hey, in the comment section below, let me know, um, you know, unbiasedly kind of what y'all think about this game uh, in general as a fan game as well as, um, hey, if you're new around here and you want more Sonic fan games and Sonic content and anything else I might be doing, you're going to want to subscribe so you don't miss a single one. I, of course, see you all in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>